good morning to everyone in today's video we are going to see the application of network theorems to electrical networks through matlab software here in this video i just want to focus about the norton's theorem so already in my previous video we just completed the uh, practical i mean uh, how to apply the theorem's theorem in matlab software now we are going for the uh, norton's theorem okay so for this uh, uh, one second i will uh, share the screen okay so i'm sharing the screen uh, again i'm going for the matlab window so already i uh, done this uh, for thevenin's theorem okay thevenin's theorem the same circuit i'm going to repeat so okay the same circuit i'm going to repeat for the norton's theorem also please uh observe this one still if you are having any doubt with respect to the nortons and thevenin's theorem please have the clarity between this between these two theorems okay so this is our main circuit okay this is our main circuit and i find out what is the current flowing through the 100 ohms resistor this is separate one okay this is separate one i just find out what is the current flowing through this from this if i want to go for the norton's theorem how i done i just remove this load resistance i just remove this load resistance across this resistance how much voltage is appears i find out and if whatever the sources are available in the circuit whether it is an voltage or current sources if i reduce to zero if i reduce to zero if i calculate what is the resistance available i can say that impedance okay what is the impedance available i can find out what is the thevenin's equivalent impedance okay so the obtained thevenin's equivalent voltage connected in series with your thevenin's equivalent impedance across your load across your load to find out either response of the system here the response is nothing but either voltage or current this is for thevenin's theorem the same thing if i apply for the nortons how i can say that instead of find outing okay instead of finding the thevenin's equivalent voltage thevenin's equivalent voltage i am going to find out what is the norton current through your branch okay through your load terminals so i'm just following the same steps because which are the common elements i just modify this so up to this you are familiar and you can clear so i'm just moving the screen so as i said if you want to display the elements okay you can um i just zoom out okay i just make the circuit somewhat visible okay so up to here i done for the normal circuit now i go for the norton circuit the same circuit i am going to be consider i am not modifying because i just want to show you uh, whatever the theorem is there okay whatever the theorem you are considering uh, you can have the same results okay you have the same results whatever the procedure you may follow okay that's why i just want to show that's why i'm taking here so as i said as i said instead of considering the voltage across your load resistance okay across your load terminals i can say that the correct word is load terminals i am going to find out what will be the current not an current through this um please ensure this uh, the connection should be proper okay so i'm going to connect this display unit so don't um okay so here the voltage is nothing but 15 volts okay 15 volts and the rest of the elements 82 
47 and 150 ohms. So all things are same. Now I just want to find out what is the current right now here. That's it. So I just run. And the current is, it is around 0 0.09697 amperes. Now, now, how should I connect this uh, Norton's theorem equivalent circuit? The current source in parallel with your Norton impedance, I can say that Norton impedance or Thevenin's impedance both are equal, okay? Parallel with your equivalent impedance across your load. So can I go with the same circuit? Okay, so I just modify what are the elements to mod. So the rest of the elements will be same. I just copy the paste. Okay, I just delete this uh, element. And already this is 100 ohms. So I will delete this one also. I just take out 100 ohms resistor here. Okay, which is your, okay, I connected. Now I require the source. The source is nothing but your old, not the voltage source, it should be a current source. Please aware that, please aware that that was only the mistake done by the most of the students here. Okay, now I require the current source. So for the sources, again, I'm going for the electrical sources. Among this, I require the current source. So this is the current source. I'm just pulling out. So this is somewhere else the element is uh, added to the block. So I just arranging here. So I'm connecting the rest of the elements. Okay, now I should provide what is the value of this current voltage source. Okay, sorry, oh, sorry, this is the current source. I need to provide that. So when I go for this, uh, I can't able to directly provide this current source value because it is an AC type which is having some initial values. So, so. So if I go for the DC, it is directly asking the what is the amplitude here. Okay, so now I'm going for this. It is taking the input. If I'm not adding this, it is just asking, giving some error. Sorry, error. So for this, where is the browser? This. So I need to give the what is the magnitude of that element for that i am considering the constant value here okay so constant value i'm considering please understand i am going to provide the current value here what is the thevenin's sorry norton's current i'm getting so what is the norton's current here you got here, what is the current you got? 0 0.09697. This is the value you got. Please apply. You may feel that I'm writing the C value here. Please make sure that if the value is not enough, I mean, whatever the space is not enough to display your complete value, it is giving that some alphabetical, most case of the case, it will be constant C. So try to drag it to know what is the current, I mean, complete value. If you want to rename, you can rename it as I1. Already I think I1 is there, so give the C1. So I just run the element. Please observe here, here I'm done for the normal circuit. Here I done for the Thevenin circuit and this is Norton circuit. The three values should be equal. Then only I can say that the theorems are valid. Done. So your calculation of load current 
your calculation of load current either you may go further um, traditional calculations or not thermodynamics theorem or norton's theorem you are getting same sort of results so i just continue with this um, norton th um, thermodynamics theorem that's why i didn't take that much of time to explain all the elements what is the, from where we are going to start how we are place uh, how we are going to calculate the impedance measurement all the things i didn't discuss if anybody have the doubt how directly i can take and how i directly give the impedance value as 100 ohms please check out the thevenes theorem video that's it thank you